What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. And today I have another uh, quick unboxing video for you all. <laughs> this one was sent in a much bigger box than it really should have. This one's coming of course via Amazon, via their prime shipping. And this box is really, really light because I'm sure the box in here is actually a lot smaller than what they sent me. But anyways, you, you, you probably have an idea already based on the title and thumbnail. I'm going to be unboxing this thing and tell you all about it here in just a moment. Doing the honors today, I have this tank of a knife right here. <laughs> this is just a hilarious new addition to my collection that I've just been loving carrying so far ever since unboxing it. That is, of course, the Kung Wu Pulsar XL. This thing is a large knife, to say the least. It's a titanic <laughs> a knife. Awesome, awesome knife, really. I've just been loving carrying this thing ever since I unboxed it. And you should definitely check out that unboxing video if you haven't already. I have a review video on this one coming up. Of course, this knife and what's in this box and every other product you see in this video will be linked down below in the description. So if you want to find out more details or learn more about any of these products, you can certainly do so. If you do end up making a purchase through those links, it helps out the channel, but absolutely no extra cost to you and of course completely up to you as well so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little cut right here with this l max blade on my pulsar xl boom let's uh, get this open here shall we let's see i'm gonna get a nice little open right down the middle using the upside down belly like that oh love to see it love to see it right there that pulsar putting in work and i told you guys it was <laughs> It's a pretty big box for what little box is in here. So, of course, I can use that box in the future for other purposes. Of course, we're talking about the EDC flashlight uh, model V10. And I saw a video from someone on Instagram about this. And I'm like, you know what? I got to check out that flashlight. I believe this thing comes in under $20 on Amazon, of course, linked down below. And I'm like, you know what? I've been really trying to get into flashlights for a while. You know, part of a good EDC kit is your knife, you know, your keys, your wallet, your flashlight. Uh, uh, so on and so forth, you know, and so I'm like a little late to the flashlight game ever since I started my EDC journey It's mostly been all about nice But yeah, this is gonna be the first and hopefully not the last the first of many flashlight uploads in the channel So stay tuned for that if that is worth a like go ahead and smash that like button guys And don't forget to subscribe on your way out because I make knife and EDC gear content like this on an ongoing basis So this one is made in China. It is the Borit Bor 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 Boruit the Beruit V10 small and uh, let's see we got a thousand lumens it says here it does charge via type C which is nice it has a built-in battery which is good drop resistant out to a meter waterproof it does have a beeping alarm flash magnetic it does have red and blue flashlights for when you want to impersonate the cops just kidding don't do that <laughs> don't try that at home uh, that being said let's see model v10 uh, charging port type C uh, material PC plus aluminum battery capacity is a thousand milliamps okay range is 100 meters bada beam bada boom ipx4 waterproof product weight 46 grams and work modes we have the main light turbo economic low medium high side light white warm green red blue red flash red and blue flash uv and beeping okay well uh it is if it isn't the swiss army knife of flashlights <laughs> that we have going on here it is a jack of all trades so let's just go ahead and get this thing open here shall we what, what are we doing what, what are we wasting time let's get in here right slide it open here user manual according to the user manual here you go i'm gonna just open this up here in case you want to pause and read through that you're more than welcome to Here's the other size in case you want to check it out in Mandarin. You're welcome to as well. All right, here we go. So let's get that to the side. We have the charging cable right here. We have USB-A or USB 2.0 to USB-C. Okay, nice and straightforward. And here is the flashlight itself. Let's just get it open right here. Boom. Ooh, okay. We'll talk about that in a second. Then last but not least, we have a little key ring as well in the box okay let's get that out of frame let's focus on this thing first impression bore it Baruit, Baruit, I believe is the actual brand. Okay, I picked the white one. There is even a black one available. I like this one for more like the, you know, metal sort of aesthetics to it. This part here is aluminum. This part here is plastic. Check out the LED bulbs right there. And uh, I like the fact that this one is a little exposed here. You can see sort of the circuit board and whatnot going on in the inside. How neat is that? And it seems like this will be the magnet right here all right there we go and this is the 
aluminum portion. All right, so I don't know the best way to go about this or what even the format would look like for <laughs> a flashlight unboxing, but uh, here would be where you would charge the USB-C and it has a little rubber cover, right, for that waterproof feature. And without further ado, I guess we have a rubber um, power button and like a lining button there. I'm not sure what that's for. Again, I'm just barely getting my feet wet in the flashlight world and I would like to explore it even more. Go down the rabbit hole, if you will. But without further ado, power button. Okay, so nothing really happens if you press it once. Let's do a press and hold. Ooh. Oh, that gets <laughs> that gets really bright if you do a press and hold. Can I do a double tap? Okay, double tap gives me green light here and pretty bright, I guess, first. Other different modes. Press and hold, off, okay. So we should probably turn off a little bit of light around here and see how this guy does a little bit darker environment. There we go, I've dimmed the lights quite a bit here. So double click, was that double click? Three clicks, press and hold, ooh. Again, check out that press and hold. Not sure if the camera's gonna do it justice, but that's pretty bright right there. And then let's try the lightning, if I do the press and hold. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> if I press and hold the lightning button right here, Okay, I guess that's what that is. All right, I can see this being pretty neat if you're walking your dog or something at night and someone's coming approaching you or something for, you know, I guess uh, protection or alarming someone that you're in danger. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. That's pretty neat. And there's even a little bit of a glow in the dark feature to it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but the outer shell is beginning to glow a little bit in green. Not sure if you guys can see that. But yeah, that is pretty bright, you guys. Really, really bright. Holy smokes. Okay, that's basically the two of them lighting up at the same time. Uh, wonder if... Oh, check that out. All right, so we have an amber green, not amber green, but we have a green LED right there. That's a double tap of the basically the lightning button right on the left double tap there that gives me red double tap gives me blue double tap gives me the strobe of red double tap gives me the strobe of blue get the police out here right this is what i think about when i think of the blade police <laughs> all right oh man that is something all right we are in the scene of the crime here ladies and gentlemen but anyways Double tap again. Ooh, that gives me a nice ambient white LED on the side. How cool is that? Double tap again. That one is an amber-ish yellow. How about that? Double tap again. We're back to green. Back to red. Back to blue. Back to strobe. Red. Strobe blue. Strobe blue and red. And the white, okay? Press and hold, and turns it off. Again, there's more of, I don't know if you see the shell turning a little bit green right there. Well, now the camera can't see squat. <laughs> but I promise you, it is glowing green right now. It certainly is growing, glowing green. And what else do we have? I wanna say, all right, this is the double one. And one, two, one, two, three. All right, last but not least, I figure out the last step. So double click, starts you, well, it should. Come on, don't make me look bad now. Double click. There we go. So that is the lowest mode, I believe. Economic, I guess. Then click again to low. This is low. Then we have the medium. All right, medium picks it up a bit. And then we have high. Hi, how you doing? My name is Miguel. How's your day going? Yeah, high is pretty high. But do Anyways, uh, then one more press brings you back to eco mode, right? Again, low, medium, and high. And then one press to turn off, press and hold for turbo, which turbo really looks a lot like high in a way. All right, check that out right here. If I had to get some knives in the scene of the crime here, let's see what that would look like. Let's cycle through them once again. So double tap, here's your eco economy or economic. Low, 
Ooh, wait a second. I think we started backwards. Economic right here. There's your economic. There's your low, medium, and high. All right, take a look at that. And then back to low again, and then hold to hold to turn off. It does get a little bit warmer here. I can see the aluminum section has a bit of temperature to it, right? We should probably turn the lights back on now that we have done some testing with it. Again, going back to this, right? It's, it's going away pretty quickly because again, this thing is aluminum. So aluminum is good for dissipating. Am I even saying that right? Dissipating heat. There we go. Uh, this one right here in the middle, I'm not sure what that one is right there in the middle. So let's, uh, let me get this out of frame just for focus purposes. There we go. All right, right here in the back, Moto V10, charging section right here, magnet. I'm gonna say that magnet has quite a bit of pull to it, All right? Enough to open this knife here off of its detent. All right, so that's, that's good. Hey guys, it's me from the future. So <laughs> I just have to sit there and play around with this thing for a bit. So, cause you know, it, we are men, right? Most men don't read instructions. I'm guilty as charged. I did not take the time to read through the instructions, but I figured it out pretty quickly. Three taps of the little flashlight button right here is what gives you, let's see, one, two, three. It gives you this little guy right here. And this guy is your UV light. Check out my fingernails. I never knew I had purple fingernails, okay? So yeah, this is your UV light. Let's check out some of these stickers right here. Check out JD for EDC, Lefty EDC, Work Knife Balance. Who else am I missing? I think that's everybody. Here we go. Knife Nerdy. I think it's pretty neat, right? But if you need a scene of the crime, all right, check out how that NAVS poster right there or little mat, what it looks like with the UV light right there. That's pretty neat. Check that out. Notice a little bit of a design right here on the plastic casing, which is good. Also have a little bit of a linear hole right here, also for your, uh, you know, attaching it to your keys or what have you, which is very convenient. Honestly, not a bad uh, way to go here for a budget EDC light, and I'm excited to carry this thing. So guys, let me know what you wanna know about this flashlight. If you are considering getting it, what questions do you have? Things that you want me to include during the review video. So yeah, just a quick unboxing, right? This is just the first impressions on this quite you know, nice, interesting little flashlight right here. Again, if I can see who from Instagram I saw this from first, I'll link them in the description or put a note right here in the video. Or how cool is this? Obviously, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. I think the fact that it has a blue red police mode, that is pretty neat. <laughs> that is cool. And again, just to show you what it looks like with the lights on, again, turned on. Let's see, we have, let's see. Okay, turbo. Oh, yes. Okay, so here's my hand for reference, if anything. And this is, I still got the room lights on. This is eco mode or economic. There's low. There's medium, and then there's high. So that gets pretty, pretty bright, you guys. Really, really bright right there. I've been messing with it, and honestly, I, I wonder how how long the battery will last. It's right now, I mean, I figure it would have been dead by now, but it's, uh, it's going. This thing is going pretty well, right? Not bad at all for a $20 budget flashlight so you guys saw the drill i'm going to be carrying this thing over the next uh, couple of weeks and i'll be dropping a comprehensive review on this bad boy here very very soon i really want to get into flashlights that was part of my idea from the very beginning you know uh, starting my edc journey and so little by little i want to get more into flashlights and other edc tools and things like that like pens and multi-tools, things like that as well. So, you know, little by little, right? <laughs> it's just slowly growing uh, the channel here, one video at a time, but yeah, I'm excited for this one. Uh, it's nice and compact enough where, honestly, if it's really, really good next to, let's say, you know, your knife or what have you, here's next to your PM2 folded, right? Next to, I don't know, next to a Demco 8020.5 folded. So that looks pretty good right there next to a sharpie right there for reference well there you have it guys that is the borit borit beruit v10 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like if you don't mind. If you like seeing EDC and knife content on a daily basis, please go ahead and subscribe. That'll be the best way to stay up to speed with everything EDC gear here in the channel. I promise you'll be worth coming back for more. Again, this guy is linked down below. It does help the channel when you use those links, but that is entirely up to you but with that in mind guys it's been a pleasure as always thank you so much for checking this video through the very end you guys are the real mvps and i appreciate every single one of you thank you for all you do liking and just you know commenting and checking out all the content here in the channel by the way if you haven't up until this point checked out the unboxing on the pulsar xl this will be a great time to do so apparently there's something magnetic here that is pulling <laughs> on the flashlight how interesting oh aha the rubber little section here for the charging <laughs> but check it out next to the kumu pulsar xl right very very tiny there in comparison the unboxing video will be right here if you guys want to check it out next hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day take care and i'll see you on the next one peace